Australopithecus. The genus Australopithecus is a collection of hominin species that span the period from 4.18 to about 2 million years ago. Australopiths were terrestrial bipedal ape-like animals that had large chewing teeth. Their brains were only slightly larger than those of great apes today. They are the closest known relatives of our genus Homo, and we most likely evolved from a species that was part of this adaptive radiation. They are similar to a group of animals referred to as robust Australopiths, but have less extreme adaptations for powerful chewing. Australopithecus was originally defined by Raymond Dart in 1925 on the basis of a small child's skull from Tong, South Africa, that was dated at 2 to 3 million years old. This fossil had an ape-sized brain, but a short face, with smaller front teeth, including a small human-like canine tooth much smaller than the projecting ones of apes, and larger back molars than those of apes. Perhaps most importantly, the place where the spinal cord exited the skull was positioned underneath it, showing that these animals stood fully upright with their heads positioned over their vertebral column. Dart named this fossil species Australopithecus africanus, Dart 1925. The tongue skull was the first evidence showing that walking upright on two feet and a different diet were the adaptations that initially set hominins apart from other apes, and these changes long preceded the great expansion of the brain and the many other complex behaviors that accompany it. Since the discovery of the Tong specimen, many hundreds of remains from roughly eight species of Australopithecus have been discovered. These include Australopithecus africanus, Australopithecus sediba from South Africa, Australopithecus anamensis, Australopithecus afarensis, Australopithecus de irimida, Cananthropus platyops from Eastern Africa, and Australopithecus barel gazi ali from Central Africa. Australopithecus afarensis was one of the longest lived and best known early human species. Scientists have uncovered remains of more than 300 individuals. Found between 3.85 and 2.95 million years ago in Eastern Africa, this species survived for more than 900,000 years, which is over four times as long as our own species has been around. It is best known from the sites in Hadar, Ethiopia, Dikika, and Lytoli. An almost complete skeleton of a tiny Australopithecus afarensis child was found at Dikika in Ethiopia in 2006. More than five years of painstaking excavation revealed previously unknown aspects of the species. CT scans of the skull showed that the child's dental development was similar to a three-year-old chimpanzee. From the lack of marks from predators or scavengers, it appears the child died naturally or in an accident and was quickly buried, perhaps by a flash flood. This skeleton was named Salam. The 3.5 million year old Latoli canine belonging to Australopithecus afarensis is the oldest hominin fossil in the London Natural History Museum. It can be seen in the Human Evolution Gallery. Robust Australopithecines, as opposed to gracile Australopithecines, are characterized by heavily built skulls 
capable of producing high stresses and bite forces, as well as inflated cheek teeth. Males had more heavily built skulls than females. Paranthropus robustus is an early hominin originally discovered in southern Africa in 1938. Paranthropus boise is similar in body and brain size to Paranthropus robustus. Like members of many other Australopithecus species, males and females of Paranthropus boise showed marked differences in size. Some features of Paranthropus boise's skull, including the large grinding teeth, are even larger than those of Paranthropus robustus. Certain molars measure up to 2 centimeters in length from front to back. Paranthropus boise probably inhabited mixed woodland and savanna habitats, where individuals most likely have eaten foods like nuts and roots.